As promised, the film Buddy Games, it's available in theaters and on demand, digital and DVD right now, marks his directorial and writing debut. He also plays the role of Bob Father in this film, along with Olivia Munn and Dax Shepard. Nick Swartzen was phenomenal. And Kevin Dillon and so much more. Our friend Josh Dumel back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Josh? Rich, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on this program. I greatly appreciate it. Um... Now, this film, Josh, before we get into everything else here, let's get right into it. Um, Buddy Games, it is your yeah. directorial and writing debut. It's a it's about a group of friends who come back together to play the Buddy Games, and a lot of these competitions are uh, – they're interesting. Let's put it that way, uh, Josh. <laughs> they're interesting. I, 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 I give you the floor on uh, on some of these games that you play, that's the Buddy a, Games. That's a very tame way to put it. Yes, yep. they, they are interesting, obviously – uh, we we heighten some of the events for for cinematic value. Yes, uh, we don't actually do a lot of the things that you'll see in this movie, but uh, we do some pretty crazy stuff. My buddies and I have been doing this for I don't know twenty years or so, uh, and I've known these guys since I was like some of them since kindergarten. Right, and and we had an idea to write this script a few years ago, and. We wrote it and decided to uh, take it in, and, and we ended up, you know, WWE loved it and, and let me direct it. And it's, it's, you know, my my goal here was to do two things. One was to tell a story about friendship and how those friends uh, become more valuable as, as we all get older. And you know, there's some there's some real underlining uh, themes here. But you know, mostly I wanted to do something that that really pushed the envelope. I wanted there to be moments in this thing where people are like, oh my God, I can't believe they just went there. And there's some stuff you just can't unsee in this movie. And it's, we've shown it now a few times mm-hmm. in the theaters and people absolutely lose their minds, which is what I was rooting for. So I, let me, you know, let me, let me walk through one by one here. And you tell me if you've actually done this or your friends have actually done this with you. Uh, and, and, or you just made it up for the film, if that's okay, Josh. Oh, please do. Okay, first one is you take a laxative uh, before going into a bar and hit on girls before uh, the laxative kicks in. Is that a is, <laughs> is that something you've done? No, we have not actually done that, but that would be a pretty fun one. We might try that one next year. Okay, but that is uh, that is what is done in this film. Well, the idea is you got you, the, to win the challenge. You got to everybody has to down a little bottle of laxative. You yep. got to go. You got you got to get, get a girl to buy you a drink. Yep. You got to get them on the dance floor, and you got to get them to to give you a kiss on the lips and if you do all that before you you know lose it you win the competition mm. okay <laughs> uh here's another one highbrow stuff rich no, hold on Highbrow. a second hold on a second here's another one uh playing chicken with a komodo dragon with meat strapped to your head last one to bail wins <laughs> what do you got on that one josh is that no, how we, we actually have not done that one either that is uh <laughs> that was one that we made up for cinematic uh value it was uh, the idea there is that you you know strap a pork chop is, is pretty self-explanatory. You strap yeah. a pork chop to your head. Everybody sticks their head up up this you know inside of this hole. So the only thing showing is your head. Mm-hmm. We release a Komodo dragon. The last one who stays above the hole wins. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what in this film is something that you have done? I've just named a couple of them. I don't want to give up too many. Um, but. What have you done in real life that well, is in buddy games? Well, I mean, this last year, every year we we do everything from ping pong to wiffle ball to golf. Okay. And, you know, all the basics, but there's always one competition that's just outrageous. This last year, we, uh, Bob, the guy who I play in the movie, yes. made us uh, all strip down into our underwear, mm-hmm. gave us a nut cup and a helmet, and you had to stand there with all your arms, you know, spread wide both ways. And the other team would shoot a paintball from about 20 yards away. And if you flinched, you lost the point. And if you got hit, you know, depending on what part of the body you got hit, you, you would get a certain amount of points. So that's the kind of, uh, you know, adolescent behavior that we revert immediately back to as soon as we all get together. And again, I don't want to give anything away in the film, but in real life, what do you win when you say you get points? Like, what does this... Bragging rights, man. Bragging rights. That's it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> It's not even like a plaque or a trophy that you could just point to and say, this is what I got because I didn't flinch when a paintball hit me in the nuts. Like literally. Well, you, no, you, well, you do. You do. <laughs> no, you don't even really get a trophy. At one point there was a trophy, but that, I don't even know what happened to that thing. So yeah, it's just bragging rights. And, and now that we're actually talking it out loud, I'm yes. starting to think that there's something wrong with me. <laughs> <in my friend. laughs> 
<laughs> Josh Dumel here on the Rich Eisen Show. And how many of these, I'm, a, I'm assuming the number is zero, but how many of these is something Nick Swartzen said, that's too much, I can't do it? Zero. <laughs> that guy is as fearless as they come. I'm not even kidding you. Him and him and back at all. I mean, James Roday is amazing. And, and these right. guys, you know, it's not just screwball stuff either. It is, it is outrageous, especially the stuff we're talking about. And we didn't even get into the pina colada part of it. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 it's, I, I truly got, I wanted guys who would come in. We, had, we only had 18 days to shoot it, so we had to go quick. I wanted guys who were, uh, you know, actors first but also comedic and could improvise it. I let them just, I just kind of let them go. You know, we had a, we had parameters that we had to keep within the scene to push the, the story forward. But, you know, I wanted these guys to feel sort of creatively liberated as they went. And that's what I, that's the way I love to work. And, and that's kind of the environment that we set. And, and they came in and just laid it down. And it was so much fun. It was like summer camp. So did you at least attempt to get Dame Judy Dench in the cast? Streep? Did you ever go on that? Well, what do you think? I did. I did, but apparently she was busy. <laughs> <laughs> just maybe just maybe the stunts were just too uh too easy for her. She wanted something more challenging. Could be that, Josh, yeah. you know? You know, you know, you know, Rich, you you could you would be a good I've seen you run that 40. Yes. Yeah. You would be a good contestant. You're always welcome, man. I could do the one where you have to run in protective gear with the uh, arrows being shot. I could try that one. You know, yeah, I, I could shout out. That would be a good one. How about this one? Josh Dumel here on the Rich Eisen Show again. Uh, his directorial and writing debut, Buddy Games, is available in theaters on demand, digital DVD right now. The insane obstacle course that includes electric shocks and beer chugging. Did you did you pick that one up when you when you showed up on the set of Holy Moly recently? Did you, uh, is that where you got that one from, Josh? No, no, I didn't actually. I, 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 I you know, I, I, I scrubbed the internet. I found some ridiculous stuff. We, we got ideas, and then we sort of, you know, molded them to the way we needed them to play out in the movie. But yeah, right. we just wanted to have this, and that actually does come from something that it's a different group of buddies that I met out here in L.A. who do this thing called Trace Hombres, and they do this giant obstacle course that includes all kinds of crazy stuff, and that's sort of where that idea came from but we just kind of made a different version of it for for the movie but uh-huh. yeah you know this is the, you know this is the thing about this is that as crazy as it sounds it is truly something we all look forward to every year and guys all over the the world do stuff like this yeah uh maybe not this extreme but you know i think it's important to keep that kid alive inside of you you know and i and, and mine is alive and kicking believe me you know, i just I, I love to sort of First of all, see my boys. I, I love these guys. And, you know, we just kind of re- immediately revert back to our 16-year-old selves when we get together. And, this is fun. And I think that's okay. It's fun. It's just a it's ton of fun. Right now, it's it's a know? laugh riot, man, the whole thing. Um, yeah, buddy games. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's a good time for it, too. You know, I think that there's 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 nothing well, but a good time here. And I think that, you know, right now is a great time for, to have this movie being come. Being no doubt. We all just on the world. We just want to get lost and just have fun and forget about all all, you know, real world stuff. I mean, I had Jared Goff on last week, a quarterback of the Rams, and he's in a fantasy league with all his buddies from back in the day. Just like, you know, I mean, I guess it's a version of buddy games in a way, Josh is that yeah. he said, even though he's not paying terrible attention to it, but he has a friend who is his general manager. The loser of the league has got to do something totally crazy year in and year out. Two years ago, it was the loser of the league had to go fly to Nome, Alaska for a day. And and last year, it was, what was it? The Barstool Chris has some sort of a fight uh, every rough, year. They have rough and rowdy. Rough and rowdy. They had to go fight in the Barstool rough and rowdy at the Super Bowl. Like that's what they had to do. That's what. What do you mean go fight like a fist fight? Yes, like like, like actually, boxing. Yeah, like actually get in a ring, and, oh. and have to hit, you know, get in a, an actual fist fight competition with somebody because you lost a fantasy football league. I mean, people do yeah. this stu- sort of stuff all the time, and it's it's fun. It's just fun to see, man. Yeah. You know. I agree, man. I I love that. I, those are those are my kind of guys right there. I bet. So wh- how did you show up on the set of Holy Moly? Did it, I, honestly, like I was watching that. I watch it with my kids. We love it. The whole family does. And then just seeing you there, uh, I, I think it was Zach Efron was in the crowd too. It was. How did you wind up there? So my buddy Tanner uh, was competing in it, and <laughs> and you know they've got a they've got a similar group of, of buddies, kind of like mine, where they're very tight and they all kind of hang out. Right. And he was on the show, and they said. 
dude, you got to come in and watch. You got to come watch Tanner's on Holy Moly. So I, I went out there, and and I had no idea they were going to put me on air. That was just like it's like they, they they knew that I was coming, I guess. And they right. had Mike all said, I was like, wait, wait, wait. I'm just here to support. But you know, I, being the, the the pushover that I am, I agreed to do it. Next thing I know, I'm sitting next to Rob Riggle in, in the booth <laughs> and Joe Tessitore. I mean, it was it hilarious. Was, it, was, it was amazing. It, it, was was actually, it was actually a really fun time. It was. Uh, that show, again, like it kind of is the same, you know, without the, you know, Komodo dragon, but it's a similar sensibility where it's just like, let's all get together and do something that's really stupid, but it's fun. And yeah. there's a certain camaraderie to it. You know what I yeah. mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm all for it. And I don't even apologize for it. It's, just, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's part of, it's, you know, it's part of, you know, when you grow up in North Dakota, you got to, you got to be imaginative, especially uh-huh. in the winter. And this is, I think where we got these, these sick, twisted senses of humor is, is just, you know, out of sheer boredom and, and, you know, in the cold plunger of North Dakota in the middle of winter. Before I let you go, you think your Vikings still have a shot this year? What do you think? What do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm not that confident. You know, they they have games where they play well. Um, I think Cousins is a he's a passable quarterback, if that's the right term. He's, I just don't think he's the kind of guy that is going to take him over the top. Um, no offense to him or his, his abilities, because he's a good quarterback, obviously. I just wish we had somebody like a Rodgers or a Mahomes, but, you know, those guys aren't exactly a dime a dozen. No. But Dalvin Cook is uh, uh, that version at running back, I think. I think you got well, yourself yeah, a we, superstar. We definitely, have, we're, we're de- we definitely have talent, but we also lost a lot of talent last year. I think that's, that, that hurt us. Well, lost a lot of guys in the, O-line, in the D-line. Right. Uh, O-line's been a little beat up. Uh, you know, picked up some good players, but it just doesn't feel like we have enough to, to really do damage. Yeah, Justin I Jefferson and Cook together, I think, for years to come. You got – I mean, it, there's, there is something there. And you're you're right. Oh, yeah. If Cousins is the right trigger man, then maybe you can make some run here. I mean, four and six, it's entirely possible. Yeah, you know? they could they could make a run, and they do have talent. I love Zimmer. I do like the team, and I don't even dislike Cousins. I just right. I just have not been able to buy all the way in. Uh, there's a kid out of North Dakota State. Have you been following him at all? That Trey Lance. Tell me about him. Tell me more about him. I have heard of him, and I've well, heard his a, name he, a lot. He was a he was a true freshman. Wait, no, he was a redshirt freshman last year. Played. Right. Uh, Played, he was a player that you won the Walter Payton Award, won the Jerry Rice Award. First guy ever to do that, I think. Right. Uh, didn't have, there's like 20 some touchdowns, zero interceptions. Has a really nice arm and can move and, and he can improvise. And that's a guy that I think they need to watch for is, is you know, as, as much as I'd love to get a guy like Trevor Lawrence, I, he's going to go to the Jets probably. Mm-hmm. Isn't that your team? It is, uh, Josh. And uh, everybody needs to back off from Trevor because he's the Jets. That's he's he's the Jets' property. You don't go zero and ten and then drop the ball this close to getting him. That's not happening, man. No well, way. You know he does have another year of eligibility. <laughs> I'm not sure. Bite your tongue, damn it! I'm selling your movie for you. Come on now. I w- I w- hey, listen, I would like to see Trevor Lawrence go there. I do like the Jets, and I think that that you know they need a guy like that to sort of come on seriously. Like in New York City, don't you think he would be dynamite in New York City? Don't you think? I do. Right? But what 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 happened with the kid out of USC? What's his name? Um, Darnold. I don't know. The he, Jets he broke him. Working out? They broke him in two, brother. I, well, I, that's the problem, though. You can't. It doesn't matter what the quarterback. You got to have the right guys around to sort of coach him up, too. No matter how good they are. Right. And I think so they got to get that right. That first. is correct. I think they will. I think you know the best of the best will raise their hands and say, "I want a shot here." So, yeah. um, you know, if they get a guy like Trevor Lawrence, I think that'll attract the right kind of people to come and, you know, groom him. Right. But uh, if not, um, maybe the young man that you're touting right now could be a, a quality, if you will, silver medal or bronze medal. I don't know. But, you know, I want him to go to the Vikings. I want I want Trey Lance at the Vikes. He's from Minnesota, too. Well, then that would be somebody that they got a trade to go get because I don't think you're going to be close enough. I don't know. Maybe he'll drop. I don't know. That wouldn't be a bad That's one. The- what a great See, choice that's that would be. That's the problem with the Vikings. They're always good enough where they never get a great draft. They never get, like, that super high draft pick. Right. So we're always right there. We're kind of middle, upper pack. Uh, and then we haven't ever, that I can remember, grabbed, a, like, a, like, a young quarterback that we've been able to develop. We always get, like, somebody who's sort of been kicked around a little. 
Well, uh, you know, there's still more football to be played. Maybe you got a, a run in you here. And uh, I, I look forward to everybody checking out Buddy Games and theaters on demand, digital and DVD right now. Um, Josh, congrats on it's a fun movie, brother. And Olivia Munn's in it as well. A lot of a uh, lot of fun moments and just have a have a good time watching the directorial and writing debut of Josh Dumel. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the call. Thanks for having me, buddy. Always. You know that. Uh, have a great holiday. Have a great holiday. That's Josh. That's right back at you. Josh Dumel, at Josh Dumel on both Twitter and Instagram right here on The Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.